Why you got water on me to what attachment on? Hey guys, Tang95 here, and um, so what we're starting here, it's a, it's a mosh pit escalation map pack on the PS3, it is Convoy, and it's Team Deathmatch, not my favorite, it's Black Ops, I don't really prefer Black Ops, but we'll just run with it. So um, Sorry, here we guys, go, we're going to uh, enter the game, I'm going to be using the AUG, so as you can see I love the AUG on Black both MW2 and Black Ops, it is a pretty decent gun on Black Ops, oh, team death match. but um, you can see that I waste tons of bullets and it's not worth it, I guess you could say, using the AUG, so um, I recommend it, but um, I had very low kill streaks, search and strike kill streaks here, like I kind of messed up and the mute some people, Todd will mute them. And um, it was a fun game, I would have to say, uh, but um, Black Ops is just losing its charm. Uh, and um, as you know, they released a map pack on the 28th for the Xbox for Black Ops. And um, yeah, from what I heard, it was great, but um, it looks like they're going to release two more coming up, maybe two to three, definitely. So they're going to squeeze it. Treyarch's going to milk Black Ops and get all the money they can from Black Ops. And is that the right thing to do? Yeah, I guess so. Will I play it? Probably. But, um, in this game I had, like, I had RC, uh, Counter Spy Plane, and New Palms running. And Search and Destroy Kill Streaks. And I just had no luck with the RC XD. I had to hit markers for days sometimes. So, look for never seeing that again. I guess I should check my kill streaks before I play. Well, that was my mistake. So, um, this video is gonna be a little bit better than the uh, than the Modern Warfare 2 video I put up earlier yesterday, because this video is actually you're actually gonna be able to hear me. I went back and got uh, looked and you couldn't hear me. So, um, I look at that cell right there, and um, I, I use the all a lot now. Black Ops whenever I play, but um. I just, it's just, I don't like it. But, um, Modern Warfare 2, I will be having another video released tomorrow on Modern Warfare 2 or the next few days. And that should be pretty decent, but uh, let's go back to this gameplay. And, um, this gameplay was slow, I guess. This map is a good map, I guess, for flanking your opponents and then getting them in the middle, coming up behind them. You can see a lot of times where I'm coming up behind an opponent, like this one right here. And I use that to my advantage, but there was this guy using an H2K1, H2 and I just hate that gun. So, um, pretty good gameplay. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about the PSP Vita, or PlayStation Vita. That is going to come out next year. I have the PSP in the great device. But um, the PSP Vita is going to be better, and it's going to be able to be comparable to the 3DS. And even the iPad is going to be comparable to it, and I'm looking forward to that. And when I get it, I will talk about it on this channel. So, um, if you guys watch my Jumping Chickens video, just, um, or if you have, just look, oh, hit marker right there. If you haven't, uh, check that out on my channel. Um, pretty funny. And if you want to see more of that, just like that video. Just let me know what you want to see. If you want to see Black Ops, I'm pretty sure you don't want it. But, um, if you want to see Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, Battlefield 2, you know, anything. Just tell me, and I'll kill zone 3. I might do some kill zone 3. I'm terrible at kill zone 3, so, you know, if I do do it, just don't do it. So much bullets though, there's not a bullet. Here. But um let's see what happened. Oh, that's right, I just, and I finally killed the guy after wasting all my bullets on this guy. So that was that's why I don't like Black Ops personally, because twenty bullets kill somebody. Pretty sure it kills like a lot of people. So um Black Ops is just inaccurate. And Modern Warfare 2 and my I use an AUG, I could have eight bullets, I could get two kills easy. This game it's not the same. So, um, that's why I personally don't like Black Ops. I still led my team in every category necessary, but my team still lost. So, I don't have great gameplays. I'm not like a superhero when it comes to gaming. I'm good, but I'm not that good. I'll lead my team, but I won't overlead my team. I guess. I get killed, but I don't get Yeah, I got like 22 goals on this. 
It's actually the longest like team deathmatch I've played. Well, I, I haven't really played Black Ops team deathmatch in a while, so maybe this is average. But Modern Warfare 2, when I play like team deathmatch Express, I can do a four-minute team deathmatch. It's epic. So um, that's pretty cool. And uh, um, really cool. And there we go, I got my napalm. And uh, I believe this is the one where when I bring my napalm, I get the phone and kill with it. I got like three, four kills on it, so let's count those. Oh man. And does anybody know if this is an equivalent to a Grizz in PS3? I don't know. Alright, let's see. Three. I got three. Three from the napalm. That's not bad. See, in Black Ops, it doesn't allow you to get kill streaks with your kill streaks, like in Modern Warfare 2. In Modern Warfare 2, every time I get a kill streak, I'm gonna get another kill streak, and another kill streak. It's just getting to that first kill streak. And I think that's really the key of Modern Warfare 2 to be successful in the game, is that if you have Pred, the Predator, as your uh, first kill streak, you get the kill with the Predator, one kill, you're one away from your Harrier Precision Airstrike. And that can set you up for your next bigger kill streak. Second, you bring in a precision airstrike. If you have a UAV up, well, spy plane, or UAV up, you bring that in, and you have your Pavlo or chopper gunner even. So, where you're a few away from your chopper gunner. The best kill streaks, I would have to say, if you're going for a nuke in Modern Warfare 2, would probably be your Harriers. It's a seven kill streak, six with hardline. Bring in the Harrier, and then once you get that. You're gonna want to bring in a chopper gunner at 11 kill streak, and then you get your nuke with your chopper, or you get a few away from it. That's the best way to do it, personally, in my opinion, to get a nuke. I don't nuke often, but when I do nuke, I try it with that. Sometimes they shoot your chopper gunner down right away, and you end up not getting the nuke. It'll be a fail. But if you can get a lot, you can get a lot of kills with your chopper gunner, and when you do, you bring in your nuke, and guess what? You got a nuke. So a nuke is not that hard, and that is how you get it. I hope that makes you better gamers in Modern Warfare 2, and I hope you, I want to show you the better kill streaks in order to get that. I would try to have the best game possible, and I would find that Ground War, fun to play. Domination was my favorite game type. It's just in Modern Warfare 2 especially, it's just my favorite game. Why? Because I get tons of kills with it. But I mean, I just like it because it lasts longer, and you get to bring in the bigger kill streaks. If you want to nuke, do team deathmatch. Match, no, don't do that. You don't want to do domination or ground war because that's your best chance of getting it. Or even sabotage. I guess you could do it, but and the easiest way is to do it with domination. <clears throat> so um, this is this video is gonna be coming to close in a few minutes here. I didn't finish the video all the way through. It was actually an 11 minute team deathmatch, but I decided to just not do all of that because basically I didn't get any kills for the last. Game. Well, I did, but just it wasn't fun to watch. I ended up going like 22 and 13, or 24 and 13, something like that. So, um, <clears throat> see you guys tomorrow. It'll be a Modern Warfare 2 or a Modern Warfare 1. I have not decided yet. Or maybe even Battlefield 2. Let's see. So, put some comments on this video and I'll see what I'll put up. Um, so, it's good.